All right, just a short video. Uh, decided to make some cheese today since we got this cheese press made. Um, so here's uh, try number three. Uh, I was able to make ricotta the first time and got nothing the second time. This time I'm hoping to do a little bit better. We found some milk made by, uh, produced by Harsler and it is minimally um, pasteurized and not at all homogenized. It's full milk, uh, so we should have a lot better luck with it. It's a little more money, but uh, I'm going to spend a lot of money pouring uh, pasteurized and homogenized milk down the drain, so I said, what the heck. Um, <clears throat> so we've got the, the press made yesterday. It's all ready to go. I'll just kind of show you what we did. <clears throat> uh, this is a 100-pound uh, a rated spring when it's fully compressed. Uh, I put this in the vise and uh, figured out uh, what it measured at 100% compression, and it turned out to be about three quarters of an inch. So what I've done here is I bolted this holder on, and you can see it fits inside nice and neatly. And what I did was made sure that that uh, indentation here is about three quarters of an inch deep. So I'll know when I have 100 pounds of pressure uh, when this is fully collapsed inside of here. Uh, not a lot of cheeses that I know of uh, or have found out about yet uh, actually need 100 pounds of pressure. So uh, what this will do is if I compress the spring to the halfway point, that will give me 50 pounds. Uh, the first pressing on this cheese is going to be 20 pounds and then the second pressing is going to be 50 pounds. So just just by uh, adjusting, uh, you know, uh, if I go 20% on this this spring, basically it's going to give me 20 pounds. Uh, so that's what I've done there. Uh, this is kind of a prototype. Uh, I haven't really seen one like it on the internet, <clears throat> but it should do well. I'm hoping so anyway. Uh, to sterilize the base, I'm just going to use some distilled white vinegar that you see here. Alright, so uh, right now I'm getting everything ready in the steam pot. Sorry about that. These are all the utensils and the mold and uh, that I'm going to use for the cheese. Anything that's going to touch the cheese, I want to sterilize it. And this is the pot that I'll be putting the milk in and hopefully making some curd today. Uh, this will also all be done in uh, a double cooker uh, so that I can better control the heat. So, there we go. Hopefully this milk is going to do the trick. We'll find out later. <laughs> 